Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to Fall Food Month. Um, I'm sorry that I've been gone the last couple of days. Life happened. Things things just had to be taken care of. And so now I am back. And hopefully I'm going to try to get Lord willing and the creeks don't rise. I'm going to try to make it up to you by maybe making some extra videos here and there. Because I've got a lot of things that I'm actually wanting to cook uh, or to make. Not necessarily cook. And, um... I want to get them all out very soon and so expect some more videos but today we're going to be making some low carb keto friendly uh granola bars y'all i'm so excited about this because you know i love i love oats i love oatmeal i miss my oatmeal i've had to make keto friendly cauliflower versions of oatmeal which is delicious i must say i love it Oh, I need to make, I need to make some more of that. Maybe, maybe that's going to be something that I make um, coming up. But anyway, I'm also going to be making some non-keto granola bars very soon. And I will bring you along for that recipe as well. So, um, but today, let's get started. It's super easy. You know I'm not going to do it if it's not easy, y'all. Oh my goodness. And one of the things that I had to do yesterday involved actually going to my sister's house and having a bowl of soup. <laughs> and she made the, it was super simple, but it was so good. And I may have to share that recipe with you. She got it from somewhere else. And I think it was, she made it a little bit different than the other person did. And so maybe I'll make it a little different. Who knows? Because it was so good, I don't really want to mess with it. But anyway, it was a delicious, delicious, super simple soup. And so you might expect that coming up soon. Anyway, let's get to our granola bars. Let me tell you first what you're going to need. Okay, as far as equipment goes, you're going to need a big bowl for mixing. And you're going to need a food processor. Okay, um, and as far as your basic ingredients, you're going to need a cup of flaked coconut, a cup of pecans, half a cup of chopped walnuts, and half a cup of hemp hearts. Now, if you just have whole walnuts, that's fine, and I'll tell you what you have to do differently um, for that. It's, you guys, it's beyond easy. Oh, and over here, in a minute, um, you're also going to need some powdered sweetener, some brown or golden version of a sweetener, and and I use monk fruit. I use pure, uh, powdered pure, and then I have some golden monk fruit, and you're going to need some vanilla and a stick of butter. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you want nice small pieces, and that is where our uh, food processor comes in. Okay, so we're gonna put the big stuff because we don't want tiny pieces, all of them to be tiny pieces, but we want, you know, some smaller pieces. Now, if you have whole walnuts, or if you choose to use some other whole nut, like almonds, you would add that here, and you would pulse it as you pulse everything else. Now, because my walnuts are already chopped fine, I'm not putting them in right here. Alright, so let's see here. What do I want? I want to pulse. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, it's in there. I think that... I think this is good, y'all. I don't, I don't want pecan butter so yeah I see there's still some bigger pieces I don't know that I like them that big that'll work I got some big chunks I got some big chunks and some smaller chunks you know what I think I I think I'm gonna go ahead and pulse this a time or two more actually um what is the secret is it to pulse 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 or is it to bleed? stuck up there okay how about that is that better let's see i think that looks better y'all oh it smells good it smells all coconutty okay i think that's good so now 
Now that we have our mixture nice and small, we're gonna go over here and put it in the bowl. So now we're going to mix in um, our nuts. I'm gonna add in hemp hearts, which is going to add a really nice oatmeal-like texture. I'm gonna add in my walnuts. I'm gonna add in a, eh, a little healthier, a healthy pinch of salt because salt makes everything taste better. And we're going to add in two tablespoons of collagen powder. And I'm sorry, collagen peptides. And that's actually going to act as Hmm, what spoon do I want to use? Where's my wooden spoon? I don't have my wooden spoon. Y'all, I want to I want a good sturdy spoon, so I guess I'll use one of these big ones. So I'm gonna mix this up. Alright. Okay, and there's kind of my base. And I'm actually gonna add, you can make you can add whatever mix in. Whoa. You wanna add in. I'm gonna the bag, y'all. Um, I'm gonna put some cranberries. And if you want to add any spices, now is the time to do that too. Um, I'm, I'm trying to decide, you know, if I added cranberries and then added some cinnamon and clove, this would definitely be fall inspired. Um, but you guys, like there is, there is a flavor that transcends holidays and is, is appropriate anytime. Especially, you know, sometimes a lady needs some chocolate. And I think I just need some chocolate right now, y'all. I mean, there's, you know, when when you get stressed out about stuff, mini chocolate chips work better. But I don't have any sugar-free mini chocolate chips. Um, and so I'm going to add some chocolate chips. Sugar-free chocolate chips. Not the best sugar-free. Lilies are, are better. But, you know, I'm, I'm cheap and I just do what I want to do. And buy the Hershey sugar-free um, doesn't have the best ingredients, so I recommend lilies, but, you know, I'm a hypocrite because I don't use lilies. I just would rather spend my money in other places, you guys. Oh, they're sticking in my hand. Okay, I'm trying to get them all good and torn apart, not in big giant clumps. Because, you know, you want a little bit and never bite. You don't want one big bite of cinnamon. Uh, whatever. Okay, so... I mean, now you could go ahead and add, does cinnamon go with chocolate? I don't think cinnamon goes with chocolate. Um, or I would go ahead and add cinnamon and clove to these because y'all know how I feel about it, okay? Um, but this isn't over yet, and so maybe I will. So next we have to get the binder that's gonna hold it all together. Before I do that, I'm going to grease and line my pan so that when we're done, it's gonna be easy to pour into. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is melt our butter. Let me get this. We have a stick of butter that we're gonna melt. Ooh, I'm gonna put that over medium heat. There we go. And we're gonna, we're gonna, Melt this butter real good. And then we're gonna add in our sweetener. All right, now that our butter is pretty much melted, I'm gonna add a half a cup of powdered swerve. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of my golden monk fruit. And two tablespoons is actually one eighth of a cup. One fourth of a cup is four tablespoons. Okay, and so now we're not wanting this to come to a bowl or anything. We're just wanting to get everything melted together. Everything stirred up and blended, melted. This may be one of those times where it's a good time for a whisk. Let's whisk it. Mm. 
Okay. I'm going to let that continue to heat up a little bit more. So I can get this. I want this to be a little smoother. Alright, I think this is probably as good as it's going to get. So now I'm going to add in some vanilla. I'm going to turn off the fire. I think it calls for half a teaspoon of vanilla. Whoa. Called for less than that. Why did I do that? Boy, I just added a whole bunch more. Oh, well, it's going to be vanilla. It's going to taste like cranberry cake instead of just cranberry. All right. Now we're going to come back and we're going to we're going to mix it into our stuff. So let's come back over here. Now we have our mixture that we're going to start into our granola. We want to get everything incorporated so that everything looks kind of wet and clumpy. I think pretty much everything has gotten moist and wet y'all I'm gonna do it y'all I'm gonna do it adding some ground cloves I can't take it it needs some it needs some you know I'm gonna go ahead and add some cinnamon too oh it smells y'all it smells like holiday holiday Let's get some cinnamon. Get it turned up in here. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. It just, y'all, that just elevated it. Oh my goodness. I am so glad I decided to do that. All right. I think we're pretty good mixed in. Now let's get it into our little baking pan. So now we're going to put it in and. I sprayed it with a little oil. It doesn't matter what kind of oil you use to spray this, y'all, because it's not going to touch your goodness. So if you want to use that nasty bad stuff for you, go ahead. Let's get this in here. Ooh, look at that granola. Mm-hmm. Got granola in my future. Granola in my future. All right. So now we're just going to pack it. Pack it. Pack it. Pack it. Pack it. Pack it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm gonna try to, it tries to like go up a little bit on the, on the edges. And then that stuff always ends up kind of crumbly and burnt. I'm gonna try to pack those edges down a little bit. Okay, so this is where everything went off the rails. I was supposed to put it in the oven for three at 300 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. I put it in 300 degrees. It wasn't done. Um, I put it in for 10 more minutes. It wasn't done. I upped it to 350 and put it in, I think, 15 more minutes. Um, it didn't quite feel done, but I took it out anyway and decided to let it cool. It says to let it cool for 20 minutes. I let it cool for 20 minutes and 20 more minutes. I tried to cut it, um, and it crumbled. Uh, I think I put it back in the oven at that point, and then I brought it back out, and I tried to let it cool even longer, but just wait. So I actually put it in the oven for at 350 for about 20 minutes. Um, I had to change the time a little bit because it just didn't work right the first time. So if you're going to do this, start out at, hmm, let's go this way after this.
Is it fully cooled? It's not totally cooled. Okay, nope. This is not gonna work. Okay, so that original recipe just did not work the way I wanted it to. Um, I ended up cooking it a lot longer at a higher temperature. Um, so I would say at least probably, well, at least 25 to 30 minutes on 350 on my stove. Everybody's stove is different. Then you're supposed to let it cool for say 20 minutes. I've let it cool for over an hour and it's still warm to the touch. Now let me, let me show you what happened. When I tried to cut it, this, I thought, oh, well, maybe I just didn't let it cool because here's, it looks like, it looks like a granola bar. But no, it, it really, like, it falls apart and they crumble. Um, and so when you take a bite, what doesn't go in your mouth just falls apart and hits your shirt, the table, whatever. But, it tastes delicious and so if you do this recipe instead of trying to cut it into a bar like i mean see it just like instead of cutting it into a bar just crumble it over some yogurt mm. but it's still good so i still recommend it I'm just not going to call it a granola bar. I got to figure out a way to make a granola bar though. I've seen them. So I know it can be done. A keto version. I just haven't figured it out yet. But I made some really good granola crumble to put on top of your yogurt or whatever. So yeah, that's what it is. Granola crumble. I love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Hopefully next time. My recipe will work. No guarantees though, but it will be delicious.